What is up, Men 16 fans, guys? Welcome to another Men 16 video. Today we are going to be breaking down a Mutt gameplay. You're going to see my full defense and offense here, just breaking down another Mutt Monday for you, bringing you another gameplay with the, the squad. I uh, love bringing you these videos. I hope you enjoy watching them. Uh, we're rocking with our New England Patriots defensive guide, and we're trying out something different offensively, working on a little something from Indianapolis. Uh, I just really like the way Indy Indianapolis Colts, uh, I like the way their playbook works, uh, especially especially for Mutt. So um, we're just kind of starting off the game here. Uh, a little slant pattern over the middle. Kind of caught us napping against a slant. Uh, this guy looks like he's using a Matt Ryan card. I got a lot of really good Mud and Ultimate Team tips coming out for you, so I'm really excited to bring you that content. Um, just starting off with the same everyday uh, things we do defensively. I've been having a lot of issues uh, with lag in this game for some reason. So... Uh, we're trying to get around that. A little quick toss to Dree. Love me some Dree Archer. He likes him too. Looks like this guy's got a pretty interesting squad. Um, so, he's probably going to hammer that toss again. And we're not, we're, we may get caught here. And there's your pressure. There you see some good pressure from the defense. Get a fourth down conversion. Got him to hesitate a little bit on the quick read uh, with that user control on that deep post. And uh, ended up catching him. Uh, and now uh, as a nice offense here. Uh, what I like to do with Indianapolis, what I've been liking to do is come out in the uh, I-form tackle over. Uh, at least for a couple plays. And I like to put Dree Archer at halfback and Blunt at fullback, and I like to come out in this fullback dive. A lot of people will be focusing on the fact that Dree Archer's in the backfield, and so they'll be uh, they'll be focusing on him more, so they may you know play that outside wide defense. It's going to open up this nice little running lane for LeGarrette Blunt under the middle of the field. Normally that works pretty well, um, but the main formation that we like to use lately is this wide trips halfback weak, and I like to put Griffin the third, the 90 speed Griffin in there. Uh, I, I've been running with Denard Robinson. Uh, he's got 98 agility. I like Keenan Allen here, Floyd over here, Brown here. And what we like to do is like to come out in the shovel option every play um, and then work out of that. So um, another really good play that we like to run is the inside zone. And we're just going to go with an inside zone here. And uh, you're going to see, that was a bad cut by me. I should have done a double juke instead of the spin move. Um, so what is he looking like? Is he running 4-3 under? I know a lot of really good players uh, are running this defense this year. Uh, I love 4-3 under. I've loved it for years. I just think it's a really good package. But the way that he's running, you see how he's shifting everybody over? It's going to really give us some good running lanes um, here to Robert Griffin. Get that nice pitch to Denard Robinson. Get to the edge and finish the run. Uh, a nice opening to the game here. Um, I, I run this formation a lot. I think it's just really effective. Um, so that's that. But uh, in this situation, what we want to do is see how we have him shifting and moving guys around. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just take a little off tackle to the right here. Spin it back in. Cut it up. Finish the run, Bernard. Unfortunately, we didn't finish there with a nice trucking animation to get us in the end zone. And then in the goal line, what I like to do is come out in this strong, tight pair. Um, Latavius Murray is my deep back. And uh, I can come out in the toss. I can come out in the dive. I can come out in whatever I want. The quick audible down is the power O. So not too great of a quick audible down. Um... But here he's going to give me the pitch to the left. Actually, he's going to give me the pitch to the right. So we'll go ahead and take that. Do some playmaker hot routes adjusting. And uh, we'll go ahead and get in for six with Latavius Murray. So a nice drive offensively uh, for us opening up here. But um, pretty pretty, pretty pumped for Mutt. I really enjoy this mode a lot more than I thought I was going to. Uh, this guy's pausing the game already. I really hope he doesn't quit. Ah, dang it, any quits. All right, we'll play one more for you, Mutt Monday, guys. We'll play one more for you. Uh, if you guys want this stuff live streamed, that is a possibility. But the problem is, is I record these kind of when I have time, so I can't really schedule. Um, unfortunately, I don't really know what to do about that because my schedule is so sporadic um, because I travel a lot and I move around a lot. I don't know. You know, weekends are really shoddy for me from like Friday to Tuesday is normally kind of questionable. 
Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, two, Wednesday is kind of probably my best day, but Twim's on Wednesday. I don't want to compete. I don't really compete. I want to watch Twim. I mean, sure. So screw you guys. I want to watch Twim on, on Wednesdays. Um, and then Thursday night football's on Thursday and then Friday. I mean, no, you know, I'm like I said, I'm busy. So like Wednesdays and Thursdays, maybe Tuesday nights, uh, I could do some stream. Uh, if you guys want that, uh, let me know. Uh, I have a Twitch channel. I just never use it, but, uh, we could stream this stuff. And then like I said, we could go random streams as well sometimes from time to time. But, um, but anyway, how you guys doing? I hope you guys enjoying it. Like I said, I got a lot of really good Madden Ultimate Team content coming. Uh, I really feel like I do. I, I feel like I have some really good players to talk about uh, in Madden Ultimate Team. We got really good playbooks. I, I want to do like a top five mutt playbooks, defense and offense. I just got done recording some of my top five offensive and defensive playbooks, and those videos went way longer than they should have, but um, hopefully it will provide you some decent content um, for it. Like I said, offense, we have been running the Indianapolis Colts. Our guide is from Arizona. I still really think Arizona is a better playbook uh, when it comes down to it. I've just been having some fun in Indy. Uh, and then New England defense, best defense, have not... I have not even thought about it for a second. Love New England's defense. Like I said, I can play other defenses, but this one is just my bread and butter. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. It is. It, it really is my favorite. My favorite scheme. It may be my favorite scheme I've ever made because it's four formations, and you're just. I mean, the adjustments and everything. I just feel like it just flows really well together. Um, and so uh, it's probably on my favorite. My favorite is still the four three under I made uh, in Madden 13. Madden 13 was probably my year. Where I was probably my at my best defensively, um, the 335 was pretty solid last year. And see, like I said, I feel like I could give out some kick return tips because yours truly breaks another one. I don't know if you guys have seen. I've been returning kicks a lot lately, and so don't kick it deep to yours truly because it may result in you happen to watch me celebrate for six. But. Um, yeah, I don't go for, uh, the only reason I don't kick extra points is because I believe in possessions versus, I never kick an extra point on the first touchdown. On the second one, it's a little shoddy. First one, I never kick an extra point. Reason being, um, and I say that, and I'm going to get shot up here. A little power -o. Play action, try to hit the fullback. Oh, Matt Stafford, that was awful, son. I've been trying to get the Matt Ryan card, but he's kind of expensive, uh, comparative comparatively to Matt Ryan. I don't know if he's that worth that much more. Um, now I keep going back and forth on it. I don't know if you guys have had the Matt Ryan card uh, with the 89 throw power and the 90 throwing accuracy or whatever he has. Uh, talk to me a little bit about that because I think deep accuracy is a really important feature to have. It's one of the most important attributes to have in this game. But uh, anyway, hop in. Nickel 335 odd. Oh my gosh, I just love this formation. Like, I seriously... It's like there's something about this package that just I really, I really enjoy it. Just enjoy the way the formation works. But Sam Mike 3 Press is my bread and butter. Um, and we'll just start out with standard pressure off the right. He's got the Griffin card in. So that means we don't want to be bringing too much pressure left. Wow. Hayward got toasted. Holy smokes. What the freak? That was interesting. So a little play action play to start the game. Really interesting the way that kind of turned out. Was that Brashard Perriman? Hayward really got beat bad. That's never happened to me. Fake screen, wide receiver wheel. Who would have thought? I got to figure out who that guy is. Maybe I should pause. Oh, I'm not going to pause it, but freaking Drew Brees, bruised rotator cuff, no tears. Romo got hurt this week. That was really nice. Really appreciated that. So we had a kick return, and then we had him score a uh, streak. So that's interesting. Um, and see, that's why I don't blitz in the opening drive. Um, I've been really – I think I've been kind of lazy. I've been, like, trying to jump to the blitz, like, more early on. And you just can't do that sometimes against these elite. See, look at the kick return skills of your boy. Uh, I couldn't break it for two for six, but still. Uh, every game we start out, I form tackle over. And I like to do the fullback fake halfback flip most of the time. Uh, reason being is because it's going to get them aware that you're going to be able to do this with the three archer. Um, normally you won't lose that many yards, even if you lose any. But normally you can break a tackle, turn it into a decent yard gain. I love the double juke there. It really isolates you, gives you an opportunity to do that if they give you the option. But then we like to go into our trips HB week. 
and I like to put Griffin in, uh, and then I like to use Robinson as well. He's got like 98 um, agility, so that's something. That's a little something for you guys. Pro tip: Denard Robinson is a real is the real deal, and I'm gonna talk about him a little more. I love this little shovel option. Um, sometimes I don't make the right read every time, but most of the time your boy does do pretty solid. I got Keenan Allen, too, in the slot. It's a new card I'm trying out. I really think it'll be good by opening up. Love to work this flat to Robinson. I mean, it's just a quick hit. I mean, it really is. It's just a quick hitting route. Uh, I haven't really been intercepted on that route, and we talk zone coverage. Now, we talk man. Yeah, different story. You could probably get picked. I don't throw it against man. I just check down. But um, I normally will hit that against zone if possible. There's Kaufman breaking tackles, being a monster. So this guy's going to defend this triple option, interestingly. Um, I don't normally, that normally we have much clearer running lanes than what he's giving us so far. So we're going to check down inside zone. This play is a monster, too. Spin move, that 98 agility. And in that situation, it's all about knowing your situations. Right there, with it being third and three, you know, I probably could have bounced it out and got more yardage, but uh, I need to stay disciplined and take my first downs uh, when they're offered to me freely. And uh, that's exactly what we did there. Took the first down. And see, this is more what you'll get. This nice pitch out to Robinson, and now you explode into the secondary. And, gosh, dang it, man. It's been a little laggy. The connection for me has been a little laggy lately. I don't know if that's something to do with my connection, but it's like almost every game I have, like, Robinson's just a step too slow um, in mutt, and I don't know. But Latavius Murray is kind of like that, too, and even uh, McKinnon. Anybody with Archer, really, I don't know. And it may just be reality. Ooh, what a play by 56. Was that Averill? Yeah, it's Cliff Averill right there. Nice play by him. Coming over to make the tackle. But he's giving me a good look. He's giving me a couple good looks here for this triple option, or shovel option. Any? We'll f we'll flip it to Kaufman there. Just kind of just kind of keep the keep always keep the always keep the drive going. You see, how he's kind of kind of gonna have to use her that play. Um, now the cool part about that is it's gonna leave us some opportunities um, for some options uh, at different aspects here. So. Here we're going to go with the play P.A. Reed. What I like to do on this play is take Robinson, put him on a streak, motion him to the right, and then take this slot receiver and put him on a little hitch pattern. Normally the slot receiver will come open. You see he's sitting there. Colston kind of blows, and I don't know why because his ratings are really good, but he's he doesn't catch the ball for me sometimes. Remember, it's all about possessions, not necessarily about points. Uh, in my opinion, it's all about possessions, especially early in the game. So we're going to take a field goal here, go up one possession, um, and then we'll try to lock up defensively. I don't know what happened last time. I, he must have that Brashard Perriman. I mean, he's got like a – I mean, that dude literally just roasted Hayward, and Hayward's got like 93 zone coverage, and that's why I picked him. Um, I think zone coverage is really an important stat. Man coverage is also important. Uh, I think that's really, th those are the two kind of key ones. Um, I don't know how important speed is, honestly, and I can't really tell because I feel like sometimes it's really important uh, and then sometimes it's not in the time that it's not important normally. It's like, but times that it is important, it seems like you get roasted over the top. So anyway, we'll hop in, go with our standard. We're going to run at this streak. So I feel like he's going to throw it again. There we are. There's Telvin Smith. And that's got it. Who is that? Is that Perriman at 80, number 80? I can't I can't remember Perriman's number. That's the problem. So we're going to send some Pete. Send some heat up. Bad run by him trying to change his lanes. Really nowhere to go. C.J. Spiller got caught. Oh. Landry makes a big time play. I was kind of nervous. And we got him in a fourth and 15. So the defense comes through for us. Yeah. Another quit. Dang it. Well, that's going to have to do it this week. 
mean, we're already at 15 minutes, so that's going to have to do it this week. We showed you some of the defense, uh, so another clip by him. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you can come back and we'll have a fuller gameplay for you next week. But that's Mutt Monday. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you guys want the defense, you can check out the description below, and uh, we'll show you the defense. Uh, it's very inexpensive. Uh, you can purchase that below uh, from the New England Patriots. If you want an offense, we've broken down in the Arizona Cardinals. That's also in the description, so you can check that out as well. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate you and your time, and I hope that this video provided some